Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Uh, today we are going to be doing some updates to our 1660 Supers. Now there was a Reddit post and a video put out by Son of a Tech, which I will put in the show notes below. So be sure to go watch that, where he highlighted what the Redditor <laughs> had said he had tried, which was updating the 1660 supers with Hynix memory so that's the key super with Hynix memory to an MSI ROM so a BIOS flash and currently with Hynix memory I'm getting about 31 and a half mega hash somewhere in there just under 32 but it's supposed to add a couple more mega hash maybe 34 uh, or above mega hash so if we can get a 5 to 10 percent increase it might be worth it and if you all have been watching the channel, you know that the Dark Trooper rig we did here, this is all 1660 Supers, all Hynix memory. So we got 12 cards in this rig. And then we also had our little mini rig we did a video on, if you want to watch that build. These are all PNY cards we got from Best Buy right here. So we've got five PNY cards. We'll give those a try, and we'll give the Zotac cards a try. But what I'm going to do first is I went ahead in HiveOS and backed up the ROM from each of the cards. I need to take these to a Windows machine. I, I haven't tested in Hive. I've just read that it doesn't work. So I'm not even going to try it, <laughs> at least for now. I'm going to take one of each of these to a Windows machine and see if I can do the MSI flash on the card. And then bring it back to Hive and we'll see if it works. So let me get two of them pulled. I'm going to go inside, put them on our Windows rig in the studio, and we'll be off and running. All right, guys, I put together a cheat sheet here on how to back up and flash one of these cards. And be sure to back up your ROM because if something were to happen, if you were to have to RMA a card, it is always the best idea to replace the ROM that came with the GPU out of the box. They may question you or not honor the RMA if you don't have it on there. So be sure to do a backup. And we're going to do that on this card here in just a minute and then we are going to also flash the card with this MSI ROM. Now a couple of things I have all of the files here that I've downloaded uh, that you will need at this point in time to successfully flash these cards. Now let me say this I downloaded these from third-party sources I am just trusting that a number of other people that I've spoken to in the community have had success so be sure to always do your own research. For beginners, I do not recommend flashing your GPU. I just don't do it. Just stick with the out-of-the-box hash rate. For advanced users, if you want to try this, do it at your own risk and do your own research, please. I will provide a link that has a download for all of this information, all of these files, so you can get it in one spot. Download at your own risk. This is not uh, guaranteed or supported, anything like that. I'm always very hesitant about providing any sort of ROM. So these are third-party ROMs that I don't know the origins of. And then this guide right here, I'll also make sure that it is included. It's this text file right here, but I'll probably put this in the description of the video as well. All right, now I am currently on my editing machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remote in via Team Viewer to the rig that we are gonna make the changes on, and I'm gonna show you how to walk through this. So on this machine, I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna right click on Command Prompt. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just come over here if you don't have it pinned to your taskbar and type CMD. You can right click and run as administrator. Now what I recommend doing to make this part easier is when you create your folder, make it on the C drive, just C colon backslash and name it something simple like 1660S flash or 1660S, something that's simple to navigate to. And something else you can do is I'm going to right click on this MSI ROM, I'm going to copy it and then I'm just going to paste it back in the same directory because we know that's the one we're going to be using. And this copy, I'm just going to name it MSI 1660 again so that when I'm typing over here in the DOS prompt it's easy to navigate around so let me do a change directory here and we're gonna go C colon backslash 1660 S and you can do a DIR see what's in there and you can see that's everything that we had dropped into this folder now from here the first thing that you want to do and most important thing to do is do a backup because if you're going to RMA your card into the future, you need to have that original ROM 
that you can save and then put back on here for that RMA or else they may not honor it. So I'm just going to copy this out of here. Control V. Now you can name this backup.rom anything that you want. So I could name this 1660 super zotac.rom, something like that. Okay, and if I open up the 1660s folder on this PC, you can see right here we have our ROM that is backed up. And I'm just going to take that and drop it into a backup folder to keep things a little bit cleaner. Now, next up, if you've got multiple GPUs, you're going to want to run this command dash dash list to find which it is that you need. And it's going to list them out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now I've got a solo GPU in this rig that we are remoted into. So I'm just going to use index 0. And I'm going to copy this over into the machine that we are remoted into. And I'm going to change the ROM name. And what did we call this? MSI 1660S ROM. Okay. Now again, this is that point you can't turn back. So be sure you are willing to take the chance on this and you've done a little bit of research. Otherwise, you could break your card. So just be aware. Yes to confirm. Yes to confirm. By the way, while we're waiting for that to finish, if you do want to get these files from the original source, I will put a link to that in the show notes below, the original Reddit post. And then also, if you want to go back and take a look at Sot's video, he did a really great job covering this also. That'll be in here if you want to take a look at that. All right, a reboot is required. I'm going to reboot this rig, and let's jump over there and see what kind of performance increase we got. Now, I'm not going to use Team Viewer because I don't want to tax the main display by remoting in. I want to see the best performance that we can get, and then we'll take a look at it uh, after we leave the Windows machine that we're flashing it in and we will see how it does in Hive OS. I just finished up the Zotac card. We've got it here in our test rig and I'm getting some really, really solid results. Look at this, we are right at 35.02 mega hash. Now this is in Windows with the Zotac card. I am on Afterburner 4.6.4 beta 3 <laughs> and let's see here what else would you want to know the drivers 466.11 and I did flash the Zotac card with the MSI ROM and here are the overclocks that we've got we are at 1450 on the memory 0 on the core clock and the power limit I'm at 67 percent right now and let's see over here it's showing that we're at about 86 watts so on this particular card probably at the riser we're probably just above 90 watts would be my guess maybe a little bit higher but we'll do some testing in the future at the wall on this we'll actually test the entire rig if we update everything on that dark trooper rig but I was pretty excited I was stepping through all of the overclocks here trying to find something that could just get me up to 35 mega hash and do it and keep the rig stable or keep the PC stable and we did it we did it guys. Let's see, we have been up for 37 minutes, three seconds, and still running pretty solid here. So yeah, I'm gonna keep working on this. And so we'll get this put back in the Dark Trooper rig. We'll start pulling more cards, bring them in here to Windows. And as soon as I can figure out a way to do the updates in Hive, I promise you guys will be the first to know because this is a real pain pulling them one card at a time. But pretty excited about that guys, 35 mega hash. There you go. All right, so I just moved a couple of these GPUs out to the mining shed, and they are up on Hive, which I'm going to show you. And as I was about to pull up the interface, I had bookmarked this. These 1660 Supers, they're 489 right now, which is a little bit on the wrong side of the ROI schedule that I look for on cards like this. That being said, there is no LHR at this time, so no restrictions on these cards. And with 35 mega hash, let's call it 33 to 35, that ROI gets a little bit closer to that 200 day mark right now. So it's, it's worth considering is all I'll say. 
And then there's always the gamble you would get a card that doesn't have Hynix memory, so keep that in mind as well. The last four batches of supers that I got, one being PNYs and then three batches of Zotax were all Hynix memory, and I'm not sure what that means exactly, but for what that's worth, there you go. So I'll leave a link to this in the show notes. All right, and taking a look in Hive here, I've got a couple of the MSI cards up. Look at this. We are at 35 mega hash, folks. 35.18. Wow. Almost 35.2. And here are the settings. Um, now, I will tell you this is a little bit aggressive, and this is day zero for me running these. So I may scale this back for stability purposes. I will keep you updated and let you know. But right now we are at 35 mega hash. And then also something worth noting is I am seeing a couple driver related issues. So I'm seeing fan control getting a little bit wonky. I'm going to have to work on that. If you don't want to deal with any of that and take any of these chances, don't do the BIOS mod. Just go ahead and skip it because this is a little bit chancy here. So you can see this card right here is already at 73 degrees. So I'm going to have to go work on this a little bit. Yeah, look at that. This one's at 67, and I've got the fan set to 80 manual on here. So, yeah, stay tuned on that. We'll keep an eye out for what's going on. And let's take a look at the Jawa rig real quick. Okay, here we are in the Jawa rig, and you can see this one has the MSI firmware on here. It's got the MSI BIOS update on here, and I've gotten this just under 34 mega hash. Actually, I'm in the midst of still trying to find the best settings here. But you can see that's already above the other models on here. And I am having some driver issues as well in Hive. So we'll keep an eye on this one. And if you guys have had any luck with the PNY, maybe I'll try that other palette BIOS and see if that does any better for me. So stay tuned on that. I'll do another video in a couple days to let you guys know how things are going with all of this. So I will keep you posted on everything that's going on and see if I have to roll any of this back or if we're going to keep pushing forward. Let me know if you've done any of these BIOS flashes updates, uh, if you've had any luck with overclocks, anything like that. Put it in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video, Raptors. Take care.